and we are officially 30. If the beat got cut, excuse me, ma'am, do you know D? She's saying D what? I'm yelling D's nuts. Now bring the beat back. Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Just Gonna Send It. So a lot of you had been requesting for me to do 30 by Bo Burnham, and I told you guys I was gonna wait because this is a special day. Today is my 30th birthday. So I kind of felt like, you know, it was gonna be, it was gonna be a cool connection with me in this song right now. Be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, come check me out on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all of those socials will be down below in the description if you guys wanna come over and hang out there. So I've always been kind of hesitant with something like this because like, I don't ever want it to seem like I am asking people for money but i got messaged on twitter and this person told me that i should throw my cash app and my paypal up in case somebody wants to send a birthday gift because they wanted to for my 30th i do not feel that anybody should send me anything but this person did make it clear that they wanted to so i'm going to throw it up on the screen and in the description if you would like to feel free but if not i'm totally fine with that like i've always said i'm here to make good content for you guys that is my main goal all right, everybody, this is 30 by Bo Burnham and my 30th birthday, connecting as one. I already feel like I could relate to the video just based off of that and the feeling that comes with it. Yay. <laughs> See this goddamn underwear? I used to run for miles. I used to ride my bike. I used to wake up with a smile and go to bed at night with a dream. <sighs> but now I'm turning 30. No. So I just feel like, like, it definitely feels like as I've gotten a little bit older the last couple of years, I feel less active and like, I don't feel like I do nearly as much as I did in my early 20s. And I feel like that's definitely what he hit the nail on the head with right there. But now I'm turning 30. I may have said that phrase wrong. It's a head on the nail. It's a nail on the head. The nail on the head. Why? Okay. Why is he an absolute magician with lighting? I don't understand. Like, it's crazy that he's talented with his words. He's smart. He just like, but then uh, on top of all that, he's musically inclined. He on he's a lighting, just a, a god at lighting. Like it just, it's crazy. He's so talented. God, god damn it! I'm turning thirty. When he was 27, my granddad fought in Vietnam. When I was 27, I built a birdhouse with my mom. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> okay. I think one thing right there, at least for, I, I don't know if that is him more so relating to everybody else, but more talking about like his success um, and like how different he is from like, you know, his grandfather or his parents. I feel like with how much success he had at a young age, it might trigger something in him that like is like, okay, I'm not doing what I either thought I was going to be doing or like how he said his grandfather was fighting in a war. Like, I feel like he might not see his success as being as successful as maybe his grandfather or, or what he was doing. Um, but also i i kind of feel like that also relates to a lot of like my friends and i especially like our parents were so much what they were doing at our age is so much different than what a lot of us are doing and like you said and then all of a sudden you know how the hell am i already 30 so Birdhouse with my mom oh fuck oh, how am i 30 <laughs> i used to make fun of the boomers <laughs> Respect a bit too much now all these fucking zoomers are telling me that i'm out of touch oh yeah well your fucking phones are poisoning your minds okay so when you develop a disassociative mental disorder you're Jesus. Late, don't come crawling back to me back to the lighting turning 30 
How does he make it? It looks like he's got backup singers. What? My stupid friends are having stupid children. My stupid friends are having stupid children. Stupid fucking ugly boring children. It's 2020 and 30. I'll do another 10. 20, 30. I'll be 40 and kill myself then. That took a dark turn. Okay. Uh, okay, well, uh was not expecting that one. Uh so this is for the people that are like really into Bo. Um did that at the ending right there, did that have any like hidden meaning of like the the in 10 years i'll be 40 like i mean i don't know if they're i i might just be looking at something that has nothing to be lo looked into but something with like that all my friends are having stupid children i almost i almost wonder if that's him saying like he's comparing himself to all of his friends which i myself have done and like i thought especially with me being 30 now that i was going to be starting a family i was going to be you know in a far different place than what i am right now and you know, this is for all the people that, you know, enjoy h hanging out in here and, you know, listening to some of my observations and stuff, because I'm going to talk for a few minutes because this last couple weeks have been hell for me, at least. Um, and especially for anybody that watches that's past 30, I would love some of your insight. Um, I know that a lot of people are going to be like, yo, you're 30, you're young. But for me, it's the last couple of weeks I have dealt with a lot more anxiety than I have in the past. Um, more so the fact because it, it's here, like it, it's, it seriously is a blink of an eye. And if you're some of the younger people that watch this stuff, please, please, if you take anything from any of my content, please take the fact that it really does go by fast, cherish all the time in your twenties and your teens, all of that. Just enjoy yourself. Enjoy the little things. Um, one thing that he was talking, like how he was talking about his grandfather was fighting, you know, Vietnam and stuff. Uh, I lost all my grandparents at a very young age. So I never really got to be an adult and have conversations with my grandparents that I would have loved to have um, and really get to know them. And that's something that I always, I even, no matter how old you are, I, I've gotten in arguments with some of my friends that still have the, some of their grandparents. I'm like, bro. I know that they might annoy you, but I would give anything to just have like a dinner or a get together with at least one of my grandparents again. Um, so please just cherish the time that you have with loved ones and in your friends and all that, because I mean, even friends, you know, your, your friends scene will change. So just enjoy all the little things. Um, another, another thing with my anxiety is like, I always told my family, I, that I wanted to live a certain lifestyle. I didn't want to live a nine to five and just live that life. And now I'm doing it and it's scaring the shit out of me because I, I'm, I'm doing what I told them all along I wanted to do, but at that time I wasn't doing it. And now with chasing my dream as a content creator, making YouTube, spending time on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Facebook, Reddit, you know, I, I am chasing something that I never thought I was going to continue to chase and give my all towards, and it scares the fuck out of me, especially now that I'm 30, because I feel like the old guy in this scene, like being a content creator and being 30 just feels weird to me. I feel like I should, you know, especially like the fact that I want kids, I want to start a family, I want a wife, I, you know, I want all of that stuff. But to think that, oh shit, I gotta one, take the time out to go meet somebody that mutually wants to do the same thing with me. And then we gotta grow together and spend that time together, start a family. A baby's gonna take minimum nine months. So I mean, even if I started now, 
I'm not going to have a kid in the next year. It's just, it's weird to think. I always thought growing up that I was going to have kids early 20s, like my parents did. And that's another thing that kind of relates to what his grandfather was doing versus what he was doing is me and my parents always had, you know, a, a back and forth of, well, we did this at your age and I'm not doing any of that shit where I'm at now. So it, I don't know. It, it's weird. It's it's scary. I, I, I'm really hoping that 30s are going to be fun and, and I'm going to get, you know, to a place where I really want to be. Um, earlier when I was thinking about doing this, recording i was thinking you know maybe let's set some goals in this video in a year down the road let's come back and see if we hit them and i and the three goals that came to my mind the first one is to lose 100 pounds by by 31st i've tried losing weight several times i've lost weight i've gained weight i have fluctuated in a wide range of different weights but I really want to take this here and do it right um, and actually get it done. Then I would like to, this is this one's probably going to be the hardest of the three. I would like to hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube by, the, by 31, by the end of my year of 30. It's a stretch, but I, I'm going to do everything I can to try to get us and our girthy family to that point. I want to get us real girthy. And third is try to fix my financial situation. Um, I, you know, spent a lot of my 20s fucking around doing, you know, not shit that I shouldn't do, but I wasn't doing the things that I needed to do. And I put myself in a hole and I'm going to try to dig myself out. So like the 100 pounds lost, 100,000 subscribers on YouTube and fix my finances. I think by if I can if I can I'm going to work on them regardless, but if I can get those by 31, I think that'll help jump start my 30s to be, you know, a better time. So thank you guys for listening to me ramble. I any of your guys' feedback, comments, I appreciate all of it. I I've really enjoyed getting to talk with you guys. I try to reply to every every comment I can. Um and so I, I love you guys. I thank you guys for the support. I appreciate you guys very, very much. And until the next one, keep fucking sending it. Give them a mouthful of these, these, what, these nuts. Hold on, that joke sound better if the beat got cut. Excuse me, ma'am, do you know D? She's saying D what? I'm yelling these nuts. Now bring the beat back.